not so. Um, if you've been keeping up with my team career mode, then you'll keen that Haas in season three have been shocking toward it one way. Okay, they've they're a bit shocking in real life. So I want to see how high they max out take. Because as you may have noticed for what you're looking on the screen, or what you were looking at, has a bit of flat line all season. They have not upgraded, so I want to see how high they upgrade. You'll see that I entered my career mode mod installed. Um, we're going for default player as our character. So I've given the team a shit ton of money. Um, I've given myself a ton of R&D points, and we're going to try and max out the Haas team. Um, as well as uh, not your alkali Haas in this simulation, it seems it's Dodge Haas. Because I have my career mode mods installed at the moment, um, because I always forget to uninstall them. Um, so yeah, I just want to see how high Haas maxes out today. I've done this before, this kind of thing before. I've done it with, I believe, the My Team car on F1 2020. I've not done it yet at all on F1 2021. Um, okay, no, I did it once in my free time with Williams. Um, to see how quickly I could get them maxed out. But this is to see how high Haas max out. And at the beginning, there's just a lot of just like waiting for stuff to come in and getting stuff in. Because everything is getting to or at spec 3 now. All of the facilities are on spec 3 at this point in time. Which is really, really good and really handy. Because when you give the team a lot of money through the cheat engine, they will upgrade all the facilities they possibly can. So now they just have a shit ton of money just sitting around in the bank. Um, that's not really doing too much. The only thing that is doing too much is the R&D, which is what we're using at the moment to, well, upgrade, as you can imagine, as that's what R&D is used for. After you get all, to, all of the things in Spec 3, then the money becomes a peery touch useless, in a sense, except for paying, you know, facility costs and running costs is the word I'm looking for. Um, but we're plowing on through the upgrades. We're actually really, really high on the durability because everything else keeps failing. The durability, all of the upgrades have come in. They rarely fail. And everything else, I'm a lot, I'm a lot slower on. And the durability, I'm just like plowing through it really, really rapidly. But we are about halfway through-ish on all of them at this point or just over or just under, which is good. And as we now come towards Monarch, you can see... We have, you can see the projection we've been on. We were like arriving in the midfield in Spain and now we're right up with McLaren and Ferrari. Now Mick is actually finishing in the points. Us, default player, um, the driver everyone fears. We're just inside the points. I just simulate the races. I don't actually do them. Uh, but Mick was simulated starting P6 and finishing P6. So we're scoring points now. Well, the team is. Um, not us. We're not scoring any points yet. Uh, but Mick was, which is something at the very least. It means our car is improving, which it is. We are very, very, very good at the moment in terms of where we're at. As um, more upgrades come in, I think we've got pretty much everything. We're just waiting at this point on the durability. Uh, the, uh, the durability, we're just waiting on upgrades coming in for that now. Um, we still have quite a ways to, bit, a ways to go on the shaft, on the arrow side. And now the next race, Cam Azerbaijan. We are now top of the R&D chart. And Mick won the bloody race from second on the grid. We're finally finishing on the point with the fastest lap. And um, as we get a whole host of upgrades coming in for the chassis set, for the aerodynamics rather. And also the, the end the chassis. I'm getting there in the end. And um, we have one coming in on the engine as well. But the engine, we're just waiting at this point. Because the engine, we had a couple upgrades to do there that failed. Then the other three upgrades are all, we're just waiting for the for Ferraris to give them to us. It's a 1-2 in Canada. We're getting 1-2s now, which is really good. Um, and yeah, chassis and aero are the only ones where I think we actually have still upgrades to do. Because durability, we're just waiting. And engine, again, we're just waiting. And then we have two durability upgrades to get from Ferrari. They'll come in later in the season or next season or whatever. And then there's three more engine upgrades from Ferrari that haven't come in yet. Aside from that, we're just waiting and see we're top of everything on every department. Um, which, is re which means we're really, really up there. And now, France, you can see where we're at. We're miles ahead of the rest of the field. Up by 850 or whatever. Um, and now, as um, we still have one failure there, that's the last upgrade we need to do. The last two upgrades there on the chassis and the the aerodynamic side, and they will come in here now ahead of the British Grand Prix. We are now maxed 
out, which is really, really amazing. We still have them three upgrades to go on the engine side of things, of course, but there are upgrades from Ferrari we'll get later on. But as you can see, everything is done on the aerodynamics side of things. Everything here is done. Everything is green ticked off and done on the on the chassis side of things as well. Um, engine, as I said, we've done everything we can do. Uh, we're just waiting for Ferrari now to give us upgrades. Um, those last three upgrades come in yeah, later on. And it's the same with durability. The durability was the first one I maxed out, actually. And again, we're just waiting for Ferrari to give us the upgrades. Uh, those last two upgrades, which will come in later in the year. You can see Haas. One of it, with them, with them final engine upgrades for Ferrari. At the moment, we're about 890 or something like that on the, sh on the chart. But with those upgrades, for those final few upgrades we had to come in from Ferrari, then I'm going to bet it will be about 900 Haas will max out to. So, there we go then. And one about Haas wish they could do this. One, two, and lap everyone. And at this point, my game crashed. I loaded back in. Had to re-simulate Hungary. You can't try to go change the game up after Hungary, as it does. And, um, well, I got booted from Haas. And sent to Williams! Literally, Haas booted me! I was looking at my phone at the time of the press, and I was like, yeah, sign the contract, whatever. I didn't even know it was Williams shooting up the order. And so, Nicholas Latifi is now my teammate. Uh, effectively, Haas binned me in favor of George Russell. George has gone to Haas to partner Mick Schumacher now. So... You know what, since we're here, and since William somehow spec 3 on everything, I do not know how that happened. They've been shooting up the order, might I imagine. Let's max out Williams while we're here. Why not? See how high they max up to. We thankfully do have quite a bit of a head start on this one, because of course we're halfway through the season. Um, and I, my game crashed again, although I had to go off my game for it to fix something. The cheat engine wasn't really working for me, I had to restart. So this is where we're at. This is at Russia. This is where we're at, because I forgot to press record again when I started my game up again, as I did when it crashed. But we're maxed out on the on the dirt on the chass on the aero side. On the chassis, we're just waiting for upgrades to come in. Engine, we're waiting for upgrades to come in. Three upgrades to wait to wait to come in on that, then that'll be it. Then of course we have two upgrades from Mercedes that will come in later on. And then on the durability side of things, we still have a couple of upgrades to unlock. Apart from that, we're just waiting. So we're doing pretty damn good at the moment. And look at the look at the projection here. We're up around about well, Haas are at 900, and we're up around about 880 or so as um, we get a couple of failures here on some upgrades, and we can get the final ones in. And now it's just a waiting game again. We're just waiting for upgrades to come in. And the, well, the last of the important ones will come in at this point is just um, that one more upgrade from Mercedes to come in. And at this point, it's just durability upgrades, which they don't affect this at all. So Williams maxing out to about 940 or so. Um, and build that, there is them two final upgrades. And at the end of the championship, Mick Schumacher wins the championship by quite a lot. Um, so Haas max out to about 900. Williams max out to boot 940, 950-ish. And I I tried to approach Williams, they accepted the approach. But I'm gonna head off to Alfa Romeo because fuck it. I might do this again with some mayor team, see where they all max out to. I mean, I've got Red Bull, Mercedes, Ferrari, and McLaren all max out in my team. I might max out the rest of the team too. So Alfa Romeo, uh, Alfa Romeo, Aston Martin, Alpine. Is that all of them? Alfa Romeo, Aston Martin, Alpine, Haas, Williams, Red Bull, Ferrari, Mercedes, McLaren. I'm missing a team. I'm missing a team. What team am I missing? I'm missing a team, lads. I kind of mind which one it is. Oh, God. Which team am I missing? Alfa Tauri. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, me mega brain fart. Seems like Dan takes him to my teammate also. He's not an F1 next year, he's in Formula E. Along with Antonio Giovinazzi. Um, so, something's happened in the driver market. Just gonna go for another full season calendar, not gonna bother changing anything. 
Because why would I? This is just a random simulation I'm doing to see how high I can ma see how high teams max out. So yes, Dan Tictum is my teammate. Raikin and retired and Vettel retired. Uh, Latifi's gone after Aston Martin. I can't believe I forgot Alpha Tauri. They're not a very memorable team, I'm gonna be honest. Um, but there's not really been any movement in the driver market. Latifi went to Alf to Alf the Aston Martin and Guan Yu Joe's gone to Williams. Oh, and Antonio Giovinazzi has gone to Williams as well, it seems. I'd never noticed that before. But I'm going to start this off in another video if I do another one. Um, there was a regulation reset, by the way. Um, I did adapt all of Williams' perks so for a leaving Williams. Um, but it seems like, you know, supplier upgrades didn't carry over or whatever because they don't think they do. Um, so I'm gonna continue this in the in another video if I do try max out Alfa Romeo and then whatever the uh, the next Lowest team on the grid is I'm gonna assume it will probably be Alpine or Aston Martin So for now, thank you for watching if you enjoyed if you did like share comment subscribe do all those stuff. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye